Want to see how the new changes Mojang put into Snapshot 15W14A, also known as the April Fool's 2015 Snapshot? Look in your current single player world? This tutorial will show you how. Well guys, it's April Fool's Day 2015 and Mojang has done it again. They have given us another April Fool's joke in the form of a special snapshot that I assume we will be able to play any time in the future that we want, not just today. Now, I won't go into the details of what's included in this snapshot because that's not what this video is about. If you want to know more specifically what's included, check out Mojang's official announcement, which I will link to in the description. Looks like that. That's pretty much it. Now, that link will also give you instructions on how to play Minecraft using this snapshot, and I'm going to go ahead and assume that you have already done so according to Mojang's instructions before watching this video. Alright, I've gone ahead and loaded up the new snapshot, so here we are, 15W14A. Now, if you guys were like me when you first saw this snapshot, you were definitely entertained by all the changes, but also frustrated by the fact that they only let you have one world at a time. I've already created my world here, so I don't see the option to create a new one. I can reset the world if I want to, but it still is going to only let me have one world at a time, and it has to be a newly generated world. You can't use any existing worlds that you already have in your Minecraft folder, in any of your save folders. Now, I really wanted to see what the snapshot would look like in some of my worlds, because I've already built things in them, and I want to see what all these changes would look like in relation to that. Well, I'm about to show you exactly how you can do just that. Also, just to show you that I have already went ahead and created that world and this is what it looks like. This is the regular world that generated when I just started a new world a few minutes ago and this is the snapshot. I want to replace this with one of my own worlds though so I'll show you guys exactly how to do that right now. Right, so the very first thing that you want to do is go ahead and quit the game. Now before I go any further I want to make sure that I reiterate as I did in the title this video will give you instructions on how to do this on the Mac. This is not an instruction video for how to do it on PC, as I am not on a PC. If someone knows how to do this on the PC, if it's any different, if there are differences, please feel free to share that in the comments. If someone makes a video that says how to do that, I'll gladly share that as well so that people can know how to accomplish this. I'm just going to show you how to do it on the Mac. Right now I'm on version 10.10 .10 of OS 10, which is known as Yosemite. So if that helps you out, hopefully it does. If anything doesn't quite work right, let me know in the comments. See what we can all do to help each other out to make this work. So Minecraft has been quit. Now I want to actually go ahead and move on to the very first step. All right, so the very first thing that you want to do is go up to Finder here and go to this menu option right here where it says Go. And you're going to actually click where it says Go to Folder. Then you want to type this in exactly. And I will put this in the description as well, so you can copy-paste it if you want to. If you type it in yourself, just make sure that you put a space between application and support. So when you click Go, it'll open up your Finder window and take you deep within the files on your computer, right here where you have your Minecraft file. This has everything that's inside of your Minecraft file, including all of your versions, which right here we see 15W14A, that's the snapshot that we're running. I've got some of my modded versions in here too. I've got the actual vanilla versions of the game. Everything is listed in here. But mainly, this is where we're going to be, right here where it says saves. Now, all of these save files are all single player worlds that I have. So if I were to go into the actual Minecraft game and click on single player, I would see each one of these as a menu option for a world that I could click on and load up. But what I want to draw your attention to right now is this, what is in mind, the third folder called existence.af15. That is a reference to the April Fool's 15 single player file that is generated when you first do so on the snapshot, the 15w14a snapshot. This is where everything that is used to play that particular world is stored. Essentially what we're about to do is replace all of this information with the exact same information from one of my other single player files. I'll show you exactly how to do that right now. Alright, so the world that I'm going to actually use for this particular example is going to be this one right here, Megadamas Backup. 
That's uh, the name of the world that is in my Let's Play series. So feel free to check that out if you want to see this in a little more detail. But enough of my shameless plug, let me continue here. Now what I want to do with the, this existence file is highlight all of these. And if I were you, I would still keep it in a separate place rather than just get rid of it, unless you know you never want to come back and play that single world from the first snapshot. Again, I would take these and just put them off to the side somewhere. You could create another folder and put them inside of that just so you know that the, this is where all of these files are. Just leave them all intact exactly like that separately somewhere. Right now this file, this folder rather, is completely blank. So what I want to do here is go to the single player file that I've chosen, highlight all of these and I'm going to copy them. Then I'll go back up to my existence folder and paste those in. Should take just a second here. Now all of the information from my single player save file that was my Megadamas backup world is now loaded into this save file which is the one that the game sees when you're in the 15w14a snapshot. So I'm going to go ahead and close this window and launch Minecraft. And I'm going to actually load the snapshot so that you can see what happens once we put this in action. So I already have my snapshot ready to go here, 15w14a. Go ahead and click play. Let it load up here. And when I click play world, I don't have any option of which world to choose because it only looks for that one save file. And here we go. This is my Meganomus backup world. But as you can see, I am in the snapshot. So instead of my diamond sword, which is what I had on my inventory at the time I made this backup file, I've got a diamond heart, which has plus 12 love power. Awesome. Even better than attack power, I guess. And then I've got my, my bow and my arrow here. Um, I'm in creative mode in here because that's how I saved this particular world. So I can check out some of the cool new features like... Um, obsidian boat. There we go. Got that. Uh, we could go take it for a spin if we want, but I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about if you've seen this in your game. So this is what it looks like. That's how to do it. Thanks for watching the tutorial. If you have any questions, please add them in the comments. Have a great day.